the Hindus of today were the true global citizens of the ancient world. The earth is my mother and I am her son. The whole world is my family, Vasudev Kutumbakam. Those who considered the earth as their family were attacked by those who divided the world into believers and non-believers. They ruled India through deception and violence. The global citizens of India united themselves under the name of being Hindu to fight these dividing forces. Until the time that others declared themselves as Muslims or Christians, no Indian called himself a Hindu. There was no need for it. The word Hindu is derived from the Sanskrit word Sindhu. In the Vedas, the river Sindhu is like a mother. India got her name Hindustan in her mother tongue Sanskrit from the river Mother Sindhu. So the name Hindustan represents the motherly nature of Earth. It is amazing that from the times of the Vedas till today, the global spirit of Indians is preserved in the name Hindustan. And the reverence of rivers by the Hindus has remained the same until today. The dharma of worshipping nature has also remained unchanged. North of the ocean and south of the Himalayas was the land of nature-worshipping Hindus and it was called Hindustan from the ancient times. The same land was once called India by the Greeks and later discovered by Vasco da Gama and it was ruled by the British. From that same land, an Islamic state was also created. This land is now being called South Asia to muddle her ancient identity again. This is the map of influence of Sanskrit and this one of the culture of Dharma and this one of the Mauryan Empire. Today, no one thinks of the area that India has lost. Bharat is like the body of a yogi. In this vast land of Bharat, yogis and siddhas used to roam freely. Tourism feeds consumerism, but pilgrimages to sacred places is directed towards yogic freedom. In 1947, those who were drawing India's boundaries on the table were not interested in its spiritual aspect. For them, the nation was a physical entity to be divided. So they overlooked Nankana Sahib, the birthplace of Guru Nanak, and put it outside India by a few miles. They were unaware of the importance of Sharda Peet and Lahore to India. What kind of Hindustan was created which was devoid of the Sindhu, the Ganga Sagar and Mount Kailash? On the crown of India stands the Kailash. On her feet is also the Kailash. On her lap also blossoms the Kailash. And Kailash is the abode of Adi Yogi and Yoga. The yogic aspect of India has never been taught to Indians in regular schools. Even the valuable teachings of the Puranas were deliberately excluded from education. The word Puran Panthi was made derogatory. In ignorance, Indians were made to give away Mount Kailash, the Sahasrar of India. They lost the spiritual pinnacle of India. The unhindered travel of yogis from here to that point was the connection between Kanyakumari and Adi Yogi Shiva. That connection is gone. India is the land of yogis of the world. All should be allowed to travel across the land freely and experience her itihas and culture. <laughs> <laughs>